Houston Station on Space to Ground. Science, science, and science. Welcome to Space to Ground, I'm Dan Hewitt. It felt like a two minute drill on station this week with the science coming fast and furious. Peggy Whitson worked with the Japanese airlock for some upcoming robotics that will clear space on the exposed facility for a new ultra high definition camera payload that will be used for Earth observations. She also spent time over in the microgravity science glove box swapping out gear for the packed bed reactor experiment, which studies technology used in water recovery systems, fuel cells, and other equipment on the station. And on Thursday, Whitson opened the hatch to beam to install more sensors and perform another modal test, which literally has the astronaut bang on the walls with their fists to test how beam reacts to impacts and its ability to minimize vibrations. Meanwhile, Thomas Pesquet broke out the Haptix 2 payload, which allows the astronauts to actually control a robot back on Earth, a really cool demo of what future explorers could be doing on Mars. He also spun around for the Spheres Slosh experiment, which studies how liquids move around in microgravity, which impacts everything from how the astronauts get their morning coffee to how rocket fuel gets pumped to engines in space. Pesquet also donned the brand new skin suit, which squeezes the body from the shoulders to the feet to mimic the feeling of gravity, potentially lightening the discomfort some crew experience when adapting to microgravity. Houston, we have a Super Bowl, and the crew on station is gearing up for the big game. Participants in a NASA social at Space Center Houston had a chance to talk to Expedition 50 Commander Shane Kimbrough and Flight Engineer Peggy Whitson and wondered if they'd get a special view of the big game. Well, I wish we could park it above the stadium and just kind of watch from that perspective, but we can't do that. We're going to be moving at 17,500 miles an hour whether we want to or not. Uh, but we will have the game live up here, so we'll get to watch it. Go learn about some interesting things spaceflight and football have in common at nasa.gov slash football. Keep sending your questions using the hashtag space to ground. We'll see you next week.